Welcome back trainers and a new season of Go Battle League is upon us. So let's go ahead and go over what is going to be changing here and what you can look forward to. Right off the bat, this is going to be the new pose here as well as the clothing. Looking pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. It's going to be starting December 1st. And also remember to turn on a star piece before you do claim your Season 12 rewards. All right, now taking a look at what we do have lined up here, December 1st through the 18th, Great League and Great League Remix, December 18th through the 15th, Great League Fighting Cup. Okay, so they're going to be excluding a few Pokemon for that. That's going to be the Dragons. Okay, that, that was really annoying. December 15th to the 22nd, Ultra League Ultra Premier, December 22nd to the 29th, Ultra League and Holiday Cup. All right, for the next ones, we do have Master League and then the Holiday Cup Ultra League Edition. I'm excited for that one. Then we have Master League and then the Master League Classic. Three times Stardust for that. January 12th until the 19th, you have Great Ultra and Master League. January 19th until the 26th. And then you're going to see the Great League and the Weather Cup in the Great League. All right, now, taking a look at all this stuff, moving down to the bottom, you're going to see... Master League Mega Edition. So you know what Megas we're going to be getting. And those are going to be able to be in there, of course, because we'll have them by then. So get excited for that. It's always amazing when they allow Megas into the Go Battle League. Now they go on to say something about XL Candies, how they become more accessible through just generally getting them through the raids in person and being able to collect them at level 31. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I guess that, you know, they're trying to throw out that, you know, well, time to, you know, have some XL cups, right? Taking a look at the various different rewards that you can get throughout ranking up when you do go into Go Battle League here. I know the legends have been kind of, uh, legendary Pokemon have kind of been a little bit scarce. Honestly, I'm a little happy about that personally for myself because it takes way too much time sometimes to catch them. Although they do feel like they lower the catch rate for them. And then, of course, you're going to be having this new pose here, and you're going to have to get to Legend Rank to actually be able to, well, get the pose. You already know. That's just the way things go. All right. Go ahead and move on to the next bit here. We're going to go ahead and focus more on these cups. So we're going to be seeing Great League. Okay. It's normal, standard stuff. Great League Remix. You're going to have the various Pokemon excluded. Venusaur, Nidoqueen, Ninetales, Lickitung, Lantern, and then yada yada, all the same meta Pokemon that people are using, which is always nice for these Pokemon to be excluded, right? Ultra Premier, Pokemon must be below 2,500. Okay, we already know this. No Mythical Ultra Beasts allowed, and that is looking stinking good here. We're kind of just brushing over this, folks. There's really no need to get stuck up on this. We're going to be seeing it for the next several months over and over and over again, right? I'm just bringing you the stuff that we want to see, especially the moves. We're going to get to that at the end. That's the most important stuff here. Master Premier Classic, no CP limit. Legendary Pokemon, Mythical Pokemon, Ultra Beast are not eligible. All right, so looking good and no XL Pokemon either. So you're going to be seeing kind of a different meta shake up there. Now, when it comes down to the Fighting Cup. They have excluded Hakamo, Hakamo, Buzzwool, and Sneasler for damn good reason. Because that's all that was used last time. Are you kidding me? So it's good that they're taking notes and seeing how BS some of these cups are and kind of adjusting that. Great. And no psychic types either. So you're not going to be able to use your nonsense glaze with charm or something like that or some BS, right? All right. <laughs> Holiday Cups in the Ultra League is going to be amazing. I'm going to be excited for that one. Anytime they bring out these special cups for the Ultra League, it's always very nice. Don't know if they can do it for the Master League. I'm sure they could. Actually, they could easy, right? Exclude specific Pokemon and then, yeah. Electric Great League Edition. No Stunfisk. That's going to be the regular one. And Charge a Bug because it'll just be absolutely busted, broken. If you do have an Electric Cup with those two Pokemon in it. Get your Pachirisus ready because it's going down, although Electric's not very effective to Electric, so it might be a little interesting there. As far as what red Pokemon you can use for these other specific cups, they got a nice list here. Okay, so the Love Cup. You got the red Pokemon and you got the pink Pokemon all lined out there, so we're not sitting here wondering which ones are going to be eligible. Although we did have kind of like the back end for the data mine to show us that before. All right, now taking a look at, we also going to see a couple of Go Battle Days, one in which is going to be on February 12th, from 12 a.m. until 11.59 p.m. local time. So you're going to have 24 hours, essentially. Four times Stardust for the win streaks. And you're going to be able to collect Vulpix. And when you do evolve it, it will have the Quick Attack Ember, which is going to be a legacy move. So maybe get your shadows ready. Now, taking a look at some of the moves that have changed. Wing Attack is going to be generating energy faster. Poison Fang is going to cost more energy to use. 
and Charm is finally getting a nerf, going from 16 power to 15 power. So Needle Queen's Poison Fang spam is not going to be as effective, and Charm is going to be nerfed. Wow, incredible. Lit Leo is going to be learning Incinerate. Pyro is going to be learning Incinerate. Is that going to help them? Absolutely, that's a great move. So we'll just have to see how it does work out. Why? Lit Leo for the Little Cup, okay, and things like that. And you can actually power that sucker up to about 1500. And then we're going to see Pseudo Wudo with Meteor Beam. It's like they took these moves and just slapped them off. Like, what should we do? Just literally that, you know, meme of the whatever, the like the patch on the water. Just put a patch over the water. Give it a Meteor Beam. So you got Pseudo Wudo, Meteor Beam. Agron, Meteor Beam. Tyrantum, Meteor Beam. Aurorus, Meteor Beam. Okay, <laughs> it's literally like the meme. Seriously. Now, is this going to help? We already know it, it really depends upon their energy generation. We know Aurorus can generate energy at a pretty decent rate, so that actually could be kind of nice. Okay, now this is where things get a little weird. Dusk, it feels like they gave these Community Day Pokemon their moves so they can just do this for the next season. So we have Dusclops learning Poltergeist. You have Golurk learning Poltergeist. It, what's going to happen with these moves? Like, that's a horrible move. <laughs> Just go with Shadow Baller. Okay, I mean, I don't know. All right, so you get in Poltergeist and Meteor Beam. What's going on next, okay? I don't know. Put a High Horse on everything. Great. Galarian Rapidash with High Horse actually is interesting for those Steel types, okay? Pillow Swine and Memo Swine with High Horse power as well. Another interesting thing here. You do have Bulldoze already on Mammal Swine, so you got that going on, but I'm sure High Horse Power is going to be able to have some great play. Now, here's where things get a little bit spicy. Galarian Wheezing with Brutal Swing and Ampharos with Brutal Swing. Now, essentially, Ampharos would be stuck up against Trevenant. If you didn't have its Community Day move, Dragon Pulse, then you'll be stuck, stuck up against Giratina, things like that. So it's going to be a nice little shakeup. I'm not going to get too deep into the predictions or whatever. We're just kind of looking at what's going on here. Which ones do I think are going to be the winners here? Galarian Rapidash, period. Ampharos, as far as Poltergeist on any of these, you know, sure, there's people that are going to be hyping it up. There's people that hype up everything. There's people that hype, hype, hype up a pile of crap if they had to. I don't think they're going to be good. I think Aurorus, though with Meteor Beam could be very interesting. As far as everything else, I feel like that just takes way too long to get there. Ah, so we'll just have to see. Anyways, if you did enjoy this newsflash video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on, and I'll be catch you all next time. Take care. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic. Touch the deck.